Hi and welcome to Studio 90. I'm Heather Soltis in Tampa, Florida, where the men's national team has arrived for their World Cup qualifying opener against Antigua and Barbuda on Friday. The qualifying process for the 2014 FIFA World Cup in Brazil is a long one, spanning a period of 18 months, and head coach Jurgen Klinsmann says the team can't let up for a single second during that time. We have no other choice than being uh and having that sense of urgency in every single game because we can't we can kind of relax for not even one game in World Cup qualifiers. You know that is just the way it is. You don't you don't fool around with that. And it's going to be as I said, it's going to be a marathon over 16 games, and and uh, and it's a must must to do for us. It's a must to do to go to to Brazil in 2014, and then we want to measure ourselves with the best in the world. But it's going to be a tricky World Cup qualifying campaign, very tricky and and tough games in Central America. Uh, very different environments that we find there, so we got to get the job done, and that's why we, we can't allow it to kind of slow down at even one second. On Wednesday night, Carlos Bocanegra and Steve Chirundolo paid a visit to official U.S. soccer bar Crowley's in downtown St. Petersburg. They took part in a question and answer session and then got to meet all of the fans who came out to show their support ahead of World Cup qualifying. Being part of the American Outlaws, I really liked how they were really, they love us and how Boca Negra specifically says he wants to put out more that we're, we wear red and to let everybody know who we are. I've been a fan since I was about 10 years old and I'm 22 now and I remember waking up in the middle of the night for a 2002 World Cup. I was in Germany, saw the USA-Italy game and it's, there's nothing like watching your team just score a goal. You, know, you, you see them you know, in the games all the time, you know, and you don't really hear too much about their feelings and thoughts about the games, where their head's at and stuff like that. So it's really neat to, you know, the questions and the answers, find out, you know, things that they do, things they enjoy. Oh, it's a great crowd, you know. The place was packed, couldn't move, so that's a good sign, you know. So uh, we were sitting here waiting for them to show up. The crowd was, you know, really into it, chanting and waiting on them to show up. So it was good. The USA's long journey to qualify for the 2014 FIFA World Cup starts here at Raymond James Stadium on Friday against Antigua and Barbuda. You can watch the game live at 7 p.m. Eastern on ESPN, ESPN3, and Galavision. Thanks for watching this edition of Studio 90 from Tampa, Florida.